Hey there, my name is Frank Como. I'd like to walk you through how to do email migrations uh, under the Google Workspace platform. And um, before we kick that off, um, the first thing that you need to ensure is uh, that the IMAP settings are on on the account both accounts the account that you are transferring emails from and the account that you are transferring emails to and how you do that is getting to the settings through uh, the gear icon at the top and then you go to um here the tab on forwarding and imap and just by scrolling down you can see here imap is disabled so make sure you enable that and click save changes so having that setting on ensures that the email migration will be enabled and that the accounts are able to sync back to the new google workspace admin um, this is the space where you have created your new email and you want to transfer emails from another account so what you need to do is on the left side uh, on the account tab you can just click on the drop down and there is the option of data migration select data migration and what will show up is a prompt for you to set up your migration so just set data migration um, I just want to show you something if you select google workspace and uh, uh let's select start and uh, on this page you are to select emails from the start date that you want the migration to occur uh, so this helps you like save time if you don't need to transfer all the emails but for my case, uh, we'll be transferring emails from June 2021. So we select that. Um, and there are more migration options such as migrate deleted email, junk emails, and uh, exclude the following folders from the migration. By So you would set uh, the folders that you want to exclude. But I'm not going to touch on any of those. Uh, so the next step is select users and on this tab uh, you will uh, be adding the users uh, the, the user that is the source of the emails and I'm going to type that in uh, the password uh, for that old email and then now you input the new email that the transfer is going to and uh, you have to have already set up that new email and that's what pops up here and you select that and you click start migration so using this process uh, most times i see it initializing and then it fails and I spent quite a number of days uh, researching online and trying to find help from various people. And it's only when I contacted Google that I realized the mistake was actually in their documentation on how to do this transfer. So if you are facing a similar challenge in kicking off your migration, this is what you should do. As you can see, the error that is displayed here is the connection to Gmail via IMAP failed. Please log in via your web browser. But obviously here we are on our web browser. Uh, we are using Chrome. And uh, I had actually, and all the IMAP settings are correct. When I finally reached out to Google, that's when um, they guided me on a different way that this is to be done. So let me show you how you can transfer your Google Workspace and start that migration um, by avoiding such errors. So here we'll just exit this migration, click exit, 
and then so we'll go back to set data migration on the migration source uh, mark this don't choose google workspace as the migration source choose gmail so this is the error this is the only difference that um was causing that error because initially i had chosen google workspace so just to recap as you set up your migration in the migration source uh, choose the type as gmail don't choose google workspace choose gmail uh, that will save you a lot of headache and then once you do so click start and select the date uh, when you, you want to start the migration I'm going to choose a custom date since it's over a year ago uh, June 2021 and this setting allows you to choose a particular time when you want the emails to be migrated if you don't need emails past a certain date then you can skip that and that will make your process much faster these are more migration options. I'm not going to select any of those since we don't need deleted emails or junk. And uh, after that, we'll go to selecting of the users. And on this tab, we'll select add a user and uh, we'll come to the source email just to authorize it and uh, kick off the migration so i'm going to type in my email and then you click authorize you'll be redirected to this page where you have to sign in using your password i'm gonna sign in uh, click next and uh, when that's complete then we'll get to the next step if you had to factor authentication you'll always have to put in your code but this is it's possible to disable this on the admin side so let me get this code I found this as quite an easy way to do migrations since you'll only have to authenticate the email and after that you don't need to go through any other security process here is our code it was sent via text I uh, will come in and put that and click next so then again we need to sign in as an administrator so i'll use my administrator account get my password there and uh, as you can see here it's authorized so the next step is just adding a new email uh, this is the google workspace email where all the transfers will be sent uh, just remember you need to have already set this up under the users and so once you type it in you'll see it pop out and you select that particular email that you set up and then you click start migration you can see it's initializing and then in a short while it will give us a progress bar to show uh, how long it will take uh, if you have a lot of emails this process can take a while so like these are uh, a couple of years the emails are quite a number so i'll just leave this overnight and then i'll come and show you how the process went through so you've you've seen the status has changed from initializing to now it's estimating the number of items in the source so basically what's happening here is gmail is uh checking how many emails are to be transferred and now as you can see the status now has changed into a percentage bar so once it gets to a hundred it will let us know when all the migration is complete this might take a while uh, if you have a lot of emails I prefer to leave it running overnight a good thing about this transfer is you don't need to have your internet on or to necessarily have your machine on uh, that you're just staring at it waiting for the process to end but this is a process that's done through the google servers so even if you shut down your machine this process will continue so all you might need to do is come back to the page maybe put your computer to sleep and when you come back to your page you'll find the process continuing or it will have completed that was something that i wasn't so sure of the first time I did such a migration don't worry if you need to put your computer to sleep or let's say if you need to leave the office or something you can just leave it and the migration will continue the process is pretty automatic and from the couple of migrations I've done it's quite seamless and I've not seen any emails lost 
One thing to note, the only emails that will be migrated are the ones that were present at the moment you initialized the migration. Any other new emails which go to the old email will not be migrated unless you want to start the migration afresh. Emails are transferred from the from date that you selected, be it custom or if you selected from one year ago. Uh, so it's from that date to the current date and time that you started the migration so that's something to keep in mind so even after completing the migration you might need to go to your old email and see if you received any new email on that end so we'll leave this for a while uh, seeing it's gotten to one percent i'll leave it for a while and i'll see you when this is done so i left it overnight and then i left it a whole day as i went to church and now as you can see the migration status is complete so that's how you do email migration on the google workspace uh, via the admin console and i hope this video was of assistance to you don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you on the next video peace